What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're here with Ari, Will, Gale, and Astari, and we are inside the Necromancer's secret hideout, his lair, whatever this place is, and we still have the book. Need to figure out what's going to go on with the book. I want to see if we can possibly give it to Gale as maybe a magical artifact to destroy, but then again, I kind of want to read it. Just, you know, there might be something interesting in here that... We, well, it could be something unique in here. We don't know until we read it. So we're going to have to make a choice. We're either going to read it, we're either going to give it to Gale. I'm not going to destroy it, per se, as in what it says, destroy, it said destroy the tome. I'm not going to destroy it on our terms. I'm either going to use it, give it to Gale, and have him consume it, or just give it to a Starion. And then we'll kind of just take it from there. And this scroll here, scroll of summon closet, it says permanent. So it's a permanent thing. But the problem is, we're not a wizard. But maybe we should rectify that. Maybe we should become a wizard for a day and learn it. And then go back to Barb. Look, I'm not sure if it's going to work, and if it's not going to work, then it's really unfortunate that we'll probably miss out on whatever this is. Summon a familiar with the form of a closet that can turn invisible and scare enemies. Seems useful. Like a rogue or something. In a sense, but... We'll have to see. And then we have the bracers of the fence. I kind of want to wear these. Become the Bulwark. You gain a plus two bonus to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. So we're going to be holding the shield, but we can kind of get rid of the shield. But this this mace, or mace, I keep calling it, it looks like a mace. Look at it. <laughs> this flail is really, really good. We can go to a two-handed weapon. We can go back to the Great Axe. But then again, we're going to lose that on this. Ever Vigilant. When the wearer chooses to end their rage, they gain temporary hit points. We're not going to end our rage. We don't temporarily end our rage ever. Unless we just end it. So maybe we go to Bracers of Defense. But as long... As long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. So... Thinking about wearing armor though. <laughs> That's the hard thing. We'll go back to these for now. We'll make a decision as we keep going. We sure the hell will. I cleaned up the inventory. We have 25 books. I went I went through all the books off camera and I clicked on every single one. And then all the duplicate ones that we already read, I already sent it back to the chest. But all them books in there are technically read by Ari, but not by me. I just clicked on them just to make sure... Rusted key? Well, there we go. We got a rusted key. Anyways, I clicked on them just to make sure that we don't have any quests available in any of them books. And there was nothing for any of them books. It's mostly just lore stuff. But what we should do is we should take this time to go back to camp because I have some plans. Like I said, I want to do... I want to... I want to try to... <laughs> I want to try to trick the system if we can. And see if we can get that summon for Ari and not Gale. See, I want to put it on Gale. But the thing is... We're not going to take Gale everywhere. What the hell are we? This is awesome. Are we actually inside of the Necromancer? We sure the fuck are. <laughs> what the hell? There's Shadowheart back here. Lizelle's over here. Where the hell is Withers? Withers! Where are you? I don't know if this is going to work. And it's going to be unfortunate if we switch back to Barb. And it kind of just fucks up and doesn't actually stick with it. And then we just lose out on it and we could have gave it to Gale. As the thing is that we're going to live with our actions because I'm not reloading nothing. So we change to a wizard for one day. My wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. Dost and thou require a new ally as thou dis- Come on, Weathers, give me with the good stuff. See, the thing is... This could work because it says per only because it says permanent. Now, I'd imagine that we can't just go to wizard and learn these spells and then go back to barb and expect to have them spells again. The only reason it makes me feel like we can do it 
is because it says permanent, right? If it says permanent, then it means no matter what you do, it's going to stay there. <laughs> Ari's a fucking wizard. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Let's just level up. <laughs> level two wizard, sure. It's probably making me look like an absolute ass right now and thinking that this is going to work, but I'm just going to give him random stuff because we're not staying in it. <laughs> Wizards! <laughs> Withers! I want it to be a bard, not a wizard, man. What are you doing to me? <laughs> you done set this into a wizard. 26 health for a wizard. Look at all this stuff that we can just do. Ari as a wizard would be so cool, though. Actor, yeah, that sounds like a good one. <laughs> Look at our shield that we just had. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if we can just learn the scroll. Can we even learn it? How are we going to learn this thing? Learn spell. 50 gold. Let's learn it. And then... Hope for the best. New spell. Find familiar. Cheeky closet. <laughs> what? Oh, it's in... Okay, now it's in here. Let's take daggers out. We'll put the cheeky closet here. It doesn't look like we can do it. I'm not proficient with equip... Oh! We have to take the shield off? Look, we can summon it now! Whoa! So this... Well, it'll at least work now. I'm not worried about it working now, but it's going to... When we switch back, it might go away. Let's summon it. You recognize the tiny fiend, a quasit. Wicked creatures often used as familiars. Wait, you're not Illy. Illy? <laughs> Illy? Uh, what chewed you up and spat you out? Your scroll was in the undead casket. Who were they? Illy? My master! Tall, skinny, prick with ears. So you're Shuffle's master now. Fine. You're a disgusting little creature, aren't you? Your name is Shovel. <laughs> You're a disgusting little creature. What the hell? This Illy you mentioned, who's that? You're a disgusting little creature, aren't you? <laughs> I want to say it, but... <laughs> Your name is Shovel. Master Illy calls me Shovel. Don't like it? Change it! What would you like to be called? Shovel's fine. Should we just name it Shovel? I, sure, that's a good name. We don't have a shovel. I think we have a shovel in our inventory, but now you can be the shovel. Shovel's fine. So, well, first, Master, gutting locals, raising the dead, making them walk, making them scream. Is that what you and your old master did here? No. You'll not commit such deeds in my name either. Well, if you want to raise the dead, sure the fuck can. Go ahead, raise the dead. Just do it in battle. Don't scare the shit out of the druids in the grove. Well, then again, maybe you should scare the shit out of the druids in the grove. Hmm. Some light pillage, perhaps? A bit of murder to follow? <laughs> Is that what you and your old master did here? Yes. Steal bodies, tear them, then Lily puts them back together. Again and again. When he wasn't horny for the book. Oh, book this, book that. He loves the book. <laughs> you have such a way with words. <laughs> <laughs> Good with tongue. Good at cutting them out, too. Tell your secret. Illy weak. Illy never finish book. But master. Master can do it. Read book. Conquer book. Yes. Read book. Conquer book. Yes. So we got this shovel. It does opportunity attack. Shovel can scare a creature. Lash at a creature to frighten it. Until long rest, invisibility. Become invisible. And this is a short rest. So we're gonna have this in battle with us? It's a familiar, I'd imagine you can keep summoning it. I mean, same with Scratch. We can probably summon Scratch in combat too, just to suck up some aggro. 
shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Anything else, Shovel? Huh? <gasps> a spell shite! When the fisting starts, use the sparky magic to call Shovel. Let's kill everything. Okay. Let's kill everything. What the hell? Arcane Ward? Anything else, Shovel? See? Tell you truth, Beefy! Trust me. Always. Always! Tell you the truth, Beefy. <laughs> so our name is Beefy, and your name is Shovel. All right, well, let's go back to Barbarian. Path. Withers, what did you do to me? You turned me into a fucking wizard. Silly goose. Thy weep, dost thou require a new <laughs> pass the We're probably about to lose it, but hey. I guess at least we seen what the hell it was. And hey, it has... I wasn't expecting it to be talking. But there we go, that's something. I think we need to... Take away this, go back... What was our... It was 17? No. 14, 14. Yes. This 17 is not going to work. It's not going to do much. What's the point? 17 is just going to junction to 18 at some point. 14 dexterity. I think we should do... Charisma. Right now. I mean, we probably don't need to. Dexter going low on dexterity is probably going to be rough. We'll do charisma. As our second trait. Because, reason being, is because we're going to be a bard at some point, too. See, the 14 on... The, do we need wisdom at all? Senses and intuition? That's probably a good thing for at least stuff. 14 charisma? That seems pretty damn good for a barbarian. Obviously, our agility, reflexes, and balance. That hurts, man. It, it kind of hurts. What we can do is go 12 there and go... Now, if we go back here, we can go back to 12 here. 17, 14. See, the charisma is going to be nice and dandy, but we're not a bard yet. And we're not even level... What level are we? Five, I think? Four? We're level four. We've got five. I'm not going to do it to like... Well, we're going to do it pretty soon. We should just do it now. Fuck it. What's the point? I'm going to... Let's just multi-class in the bard now. Fuck it. And... Animal handling? No. We don't want animal handling. We want... Survival. Athletics. Medicine. We have just given to us from the Dark Urge. Perception 2. Survival 2. Intimidation 4. That seems like it's more than what it was. We're still a Dark Urge, right? Okay, I think that's good. See you later, Arcane Ward. Friends, look, the closet is still here. We still got it. <laughs> we broke the game. Tricky, tricky. Should we summon it again? We can summon it again. It's permanent. But the thing is, a short rest brings it back. Look, Ari can summon the fucking the shovel. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's level up and stuff. Okay, that works. I'm so happy about that. Because I just, uh, you know, I don't want to bring the same companions over and over, and we would have to bring Gale to use that. It would have been unique for Gale, though, but now I guess it's unique for Ari. Danger sense. Barbarian. It feels good to be back. <laughs> Look, it just knows that we're going wild heart. It knew it, so it did it automatic. We'll go bear, and we'll probably go back to... See, we can do wolf. But... Let's just stay bear, since we're going to probably stay bear for a minute. I feel like it's going to be better. We can change our... No. You steal a heart, wild heart. Bear. And... Yes. Barbarian level 4. Maybe at five. I mean, we can do it now. What does it matter? Does it matter at all? We don't want to change our BC heart and then... For feet, we can do Sentinel. 
Or we can just go and just get this. No, let's do Sentinel now. We'll do Sentinel now. We'll do the other one at level 8. 41. I feel like our health is less. Why is our health less? It was 40. It was more. What's making our health less? Is it because we don't have a shield? See, Charisma's 13. Dexterity's 12. Wait. Why is Charisma 13? Minus one from the Smuggler's Ring. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. That makes sense. Dexterity is at 12. Is this fine? It's probably not fine. It, it really isn't. It, pro it probably isn't fine at all. Because we're technically gimping ourselves by doing all this charisma. Preparing for the bard. But we're definitely going to have to use them two points and put it right into... See, but the one point would have been in here. Oof. I think we should have did 12. I'm going to respec and do 12 in constitution real quick. <laughs> and then I'll cut in. Okay, we are good to go now. Let me look at it. Can I look at it again? I went and put it just kind of how it was. 17, 14, 14, 8, 10, and 12. And I believe that should work. Our charisma is now... We have no modifier because of this ring. That's fine. We should give this ring to Astarian at some point. Actually, let's do something with this ring now and just give it to Astarian. I don't, I don't think we need it. Like, what's the point in us wearing it? He's the better thief anyway. Makes sense. And then, maybe we should long rest. Can we talk to any of the companions while we're here? Probably not. Yes. No. Going to long rest, but... Need to find a way forward. It doesn't look like I can summon... Must take a short rest. Okay, I gotta I got take a short rest to summon the closet again. But it looks like it's permanent for now. So the theory of going to a wizard and learning permanent spells is actually a thing and we can fully just keep it all on Ari if we want. How can I help? He was a wizard for a day. I think I have a magical artifact you'll be interested in. Should we give him the book? Let's see what he says. Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Okay. Let's just... Okay, we're gonna switch to party, so let's get Gale out anyway. Go ahead. I'm listening. Take it easy, Gale. I question the wisdom of that decision, but I'll be here. Get out the party, Gale. We're gonna keep a Thorian in. We're gonna get rid of Will. We're gonna go back well, to... Nothing. Are you sure? And here, just... Will. Get over there, Will, and have fun. Let's put Karlak back in and... What's on your mind? Lazale, maybe? Aces. Get in here, Karlak. We don't really need Lazale or... Though I haven't fought with Lazale yet. I want to try her fighter stuff that we gave her. Big weapon master thing. Let's try it. Speak. Let's see what she's got going on. I'm ending our fling, if one can call it that. We're going to end the fling with Lazale. I'm thinking about doing things and stuff, so for now... Not. It is done. <laughs> doing things and... I don't know. It's going to be hard to choose, but I want to flirt with a few more people and see what happens. But I also don't want to drag people on so long and then... Yeah, look at Karlag's health compared to ours. Why is she 50 and why are we 41 now? What made us get low health? Because we were pretty close to... Weren't we? But seriously, how come she has 50? Well, well, well. And we have 41. I have to look at the beginning of the episode and what we were during the edit. But I'm pretty sure we were almost... We were at like 46. Did we go less on Khan? I don't think we went less on Khan. 
the game say you're gonna summon this closet, mother effort, then I'm going to uh, fuck up your health situation. Let's end the day. It doesn't seem like anybody has anything. You want to end the day? You don't have enough camp supplies. Taking a long rest. Yeah, we should have enough camp supplies. Let's send it all back to camp. Oh, it's nighttime now. Let's talk. How can I help? Nothing. What's on your mind? Hey, Carlac. Nothing. Chances are people probably have nothing to say to him right now. Well, I'd imagine. Take it easy, Will. Shadowheart. What is Lazale's health? 36? I was hoping you'd come to chat. Hey, Shadowheart. What do you need? Um, nothing. Yeah, that decision for a romance is gonna be so fucking hard. How are we gonna Speak. pick? How are we supposed to pick? How can we pick? This doesn't. I don't know. Okay, nobody has anything. Was there somebody in there with. A storm was in there with Withers, just chilling. <laughs> Friends, we got a familiar that we're gonna summon as Ari, as a barbarian. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. But. I don't know. Yes. Whatever works. I'm gonna take a story for a while. Yep, I like this crew. Let's end it on this and then keep this crew. Go to bed. Well, I'm not gonna auto select. I'm just gonna. 85. Sure. We'll rest. That's good. I did send everything back to camp. We're gonna have something to trigger or. Oh. Our leg is still burning in her sleep. Friends, we are caught up completely on long resting. Nothing triggered. Look, Carlac's 45 now, so she had a buff on, that's why. We had the aid buff on, that is why. Speaking of the aid buff, we would probably need to put... Does it even matter? We can put Shadowheart in the party, cast aid on us. It probably don't matter. Let's just go. Let's go out with no buffs, no long strider, no nothing. And just see how stuff is without it. We don't need it, right? Keep buffing up like that. And take it from there. Let me save, though, because the banter bug, I think we found a fix for it. Once we change the party, we save, and then we pop a reload, and it resets itself. What's going on with the banter is, like, the game needs to reset itself somehow once you change the party, and then everything's fine. I tested it off camera, and it seems to work. So as long as we change the party, save, and then pop a reload immediately, it's fine. And if I have the party that, that we have here, and then going in the next episode, like if we start a new episode completely fresh well, coming into the game, it should be mean. fine. It should be. Because... It's still the same party, in a sense, right? Okay, so let's get on out. There's nothing else here for us. Let's go. I want to maneuver around and do some things. Another reason why I did not want to bring Shadowheart in the party as well is because... Wait, is that a picture that we can steal? It sure the fuck is a picture. Wait, where'd that come from? Did I not look at this stuff? Can't be added to your inventory. What the hell? Well, we got two potions, bro, so that works for me. Is there nothing else over here? Anyways, the reason why I didn't want to bring Shadowheart is because I want to go back to... Uh, Midges! Ugh. Shouldn't nature be beautiful and serene? It looks so nice in the upper city parks. Upper city, huh? Swish. Never spent much time there myself. I'll happily take you, if we survive this bug's banquet. Hmm. Sounds good. I've always been curious what a patriarchal looks like. That works, friends. It completely worked. We see it right here. That as long as you change your party and save and reload, you are fucking good to go. It fixes the bug that whatever was hitting us. So I'm really happy about that. What the hell did I want to do? Oh yeah. I wanted to go down to... Shit, we have more areas to explore over here. Should we explore down here? But I wanted to go to the owlbear cave. Let's do this. 
let's open up the map a little bit. Let's go down here and see if we can go back this way. Kind of just open the map up a little bit here. Yeah, I think I like that plan because the thing is, now that we don't have Shadow Heart in our party, we can go down to the Albert Cave. I freaking forgot to loot that. <laughs> We opened the chest in the Owlbear Cave, and I didn't loot the chest at all. But let's just do it now. Shadowheart probably wouldn't have liked it when we looted that chest anyway, so I guess it's good that we didn't we didn't loot it right then and there. But still, let's head to the Owlbear Cave, kind of just skirt around this way. Open up the map just a little bit. See what happens. Mugwort. Transforming into a mind flare might have its perks. That might be worth a At least then I could float over this ugh, muck. Not one for roughing it, I see. More dan banter. Uh, wallowing in filth is for pigs and children, my dear. Pigs, children, and people with a little bit of grit. Friends, we're getting all types of banter, and I fucking love it. Whoa, we got a pig's head. We got a pig loin. Wait, somebody's talking over there. Do you harass every old woman you meet? Let's go see what's going on here. She went to see you. We know she did. You know absolutely nothing, yet he just... Wait. Drop who? the act. Lads, for the it's... love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. <laughs> it's her. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I I don't know what's come over these boys. Auntie Ethel's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Marina. Stop this! We We won't ask again. Auntie Ethel is lying. How about y'all calm down? What's going on here? This is nothing to do with me, goodbye. You're lying. You have seen this girl. Oh, should we just call her out on lying? <laughs> Wait, what are you doing out here, Andy Ethel? You're lying. Can we switch to somebody and try to steal? <laughs> Hold on, let me see something here. Very, very quiet. I think successful. Let's see if we can steal. Let's see what they have. <laughs> Big pocket anti Ethel. We're still hiding with this story. Just nothing. Okay, let's not steal anymore. <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> Stealth succeeded. You're lying. Who about the pickpocket anti Ethel? Well, she's an alchemist. I was thinking we have a good chance because we couldn't do it inside the. Okay. You're lying. You have seen the girl. We're just gonna call her out on lying, though. I think, I think we should, since we saw it. Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye bye now. Wait, what about what about the bloody hells? Girl. What? She just disappeared. What? Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hug has Brina. Wait, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> she has a, a lady named Rena and Auntie Ethel just literally teleported. Will someone please tell me what's going on? Yeah, what the hell's going on? It's our sister, Marina. She's well. She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Yeah, but what kind of hag is Auntie Ethel if she's a hag? Didn't we read about a hags just last episode? Is she... There was like a water hag. Wasn't there a water hag? <laughs> there was three hags. I remember the green hag. That one sticks out to me, but there was like two other hags. But are they just saying that she's a hag? Let me, I'll bring Mayrina home. You're on your own. 
I'm sorry. Let me try to bring her home. Though we were supposed to go to Auntie Ethel's house to have her... Well, maybe that quest just failed now. Because she said we better have an apology if we show up to her doorstep. <laughs> Let me bring her home. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel, not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. Friends, you should let me go and get her. What the hell is going on? Is Auntie Ethel something more than what we we think? Let me look at this find a cure. Nelly? Nelly. Nettie? Get help from Auntie Ethel? Well, we can still get help from Auntie Ethel, that's for sure. Save Marina. Two brothers said that their sister Marina is being held against her will at Ethel's house. Something that the old woman denied. After Auntie Ethel vanished, two brothers set off after her, determined to find their sister, Marina. Something isn't right here. No, something's not right. They're gonna go get killed. I wouldn't fuck with Auntie Ethel. She's definitely... Okay, so all we know about Ethel so How far is that she basically paralyzed that lady in the grove. Okay? She's powerful alchemist in a way. She's old, she's got away with words, and now she can teleport. I'm going to be honest, I think Auntie Ethel might be some kind of... Uh, she, well, she's obviously a magic user. But do you think she's more than just Hunter Stash? There's a Hunter Stash here. But there's nothing in it. I think Auntie Ethel's got something going on that what meets the eye. You think she's a crone? That's <laughs> a... These, like... I don't, I don't know what to think. I mean, that's what comes to mind. She's old. Can she be one of, uh, like, a crone or something? Can she just be... She's just an, she could be an old witch, for all we know. She probably is an old witch. What's that? Oh. Guys, we just got a nice fucking backpack of supplies. Five. Tree stumps or a base... Perception failed. Perception failed on something. What? What failed here? The perception's failing. Is there a way to... It's probably a dirt mound. Okay, so let me mark this area here where we're at. We're gonna bring other companions here. What are we going to name it? Things. Here. <laughs> we got things here. In this area. We need to come back with other companions. Because if we fail the perception checks, maybe if we change the party and bring fresh companions in, we can find whatever that possibly is. Mind. We'll come back to things here. Um, well, in it. What the hell's going on with Auntie Ethel, man? Holy hell. I'm happy we came down here, but then again, this would have been the way we ended up going down the Auntie well, Ethel anyway, probably. What's up here? And this just goes back up to... Okay, that's not what I want to go, but then again... Tiefling. We can loot all them corpses over there. Look, there's the Owlbear Cave right there. Okay, let's go back down. What a turn of events. Auntie Ethel hates us now. Though, to be fair, I was thinking that they were trying to rob her. And the fact that we ended up noticing that she was lying is interesting. Because if you think about it, I'd imagine that if I would have failed that perception check, or whatever it was, insight, it wouldn't have said anything about her lying, probably. Hell, how the hell do we get to the Albert cave? This way, I think. Yeah, over here. And maybe we can jump across, possibly? I don't think our companions are gonna jump across, though. Uh, we're not gonna be able to jump across there. Damn it. And we can't get across down here, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Son of a bitch, we're gonna have to go up. We're gonna have to go up and around. 
That's fine. Oh, hell. There we go. We're gonna have to go up here, over the bridge, and then check over these areas here. Look at all this. Wait, there's a pod here. Oh, we're definitely checking over there. Hey, guys. Thank you. Auto run in for the win. Let's go across the bridge and then head down over in this general area in the mud. Where's it got us going? This way? Wait, hunter stash. There's more of the hunter stash. Let me run around with our our companions. Wait, there's a there's another beehive over here. Oh, he's just casually putting his hands in beehives and what's that? Not a chance I'll fit in there. Credits. Oh, let's do our familiar. Can we put shovel in there? Rocky Crevice. Shovel doesn't even have anything to interact with it. Still hey, breathing, shovel! Despite everything. Well, I guess what we can do, we gotta get animal speak on anyway. Or I forget. Let's put this helmet back on and then transform and see if we can go into that small. Haste helm. Let's go into a gnome. Can you go in a crevice? Oh, we can. goblins. <laughs> How cruel. Wait, what? Wait, what? What cape? This is the owlbear nest. He said something about... Wait. Oh, no. Something happened. Let's go back out. With the owlbear. That was an easy way in the owlbear cave, but unfortunately, I guarantee we probably would have had banter in, with, with the companions in there. But we couldn't because we went in there by ourselves. Oh, that's rough, man. So the owlbear is done. Let's see if we can go back through another way. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, what now? Let's get what going. What the hell? Something killed the owlbear, friends. Ari said My goblins. Gomwick? Who the fuck's Gomwick? Oh, that's... That's the uh, messenger. Okay, I got it. Fuck, we get down to the Elbear cave. This way, probably. Let me look at the map. Right here. Right here. Let's go in this way. Damn, we shouldn't have went through that hole because our companions couldn't follow. We probably would have had more banter. I know we would have. Usually when Ari said something, we get more banter. But the fact is that the Albert is dead. What the hell? That would have been an easy way to sneak into the Albert cave, I guess. What the fuck killed the Albert though? Ari said goblins? That's crazy. Heavy stone. Well, I guess we can loot everything now. Oh. What's the Albert got on her? Head of a broken spear. Yeah, but didn't Ed give us a spear? Didn't he drop a spear? Can we put two and two together? Oh shit, look, the Albear egg is still here. Look, a pork loin. Delicious. Headless skeleton. Oh, we got some armor! The Oak Father's Embrace. Order of nature. Undead creatures that hit the wearer receive one to six radiant damage. Beasts that hit the wearer deal an additional one to six radiant damage. It's medium armor, though. I'm thinking about going back to armor again at some point. And I don't bear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Friends, we got an owlbear egg now. We just looted the owlbear egg. We didn't even need to kill. Where's the baby at? The baby's not here. There was another one, right? Short sword. That's pretty unfortunate that they killed the fucking owlbear. The goblins got to the owlbear and killed it. They kept bothering her, and then, well... 
So this is where we came in at, up here. Can we see anything up here? Let me go and jump, though, and say... I'm gonna keep you guys there, because you guys probably can't jump anyway. <clears throat> Let's just see if there's anything over here. Shovel! Look, Shovel jumped. <laughs> Look at her! That's so cool! What's that? A dirt mound. Friends, we got a shovel now, by the way. We got two shovels. We got a shovel here and a real shovel. I found a shovel in that cave for when I was just going around in the in the area. There's nothing. In the Necromancer's lair. Before I started the episode when I was doing all types of inventory management, there was a shovel in there and I put it on Ari. He needed one. Hey Carlac. Copper for your thoughts. Take care. Let me get back down. Friends, what the hell? So the goblins came and destroyed the owlbear anyway. The owlbear child, I don't see it here. It's not a corpse anywhere, but they just left the egg. I don't think they had a... That's the thing, is that they probably killed... The owlbear probably killed all the goblins, and then she died of injuries, I'd imagine. Let me check our inventory, though, because we got two things. We got the head of a broken spear. A gawking yellow eye is pierced on this broken spear head. What eye and whose eye is that? I swore we had a shaft from Ed right here. Shaft of a broken spear. The remainder of a spear shaft snapped cleanly in the middle. How do we put stuff together? Combine? Well, there we go. Broken spear. Maybe we have to take it to that forge. Let's combine it. Vision of the absolute. Absolute knight. Blind targets that fail a dexterity check saving throw. Deals an additional 2 to 12 piercing damage to certain creatures that sport multiple set of eyes. <laughs> So, as long as the creature has more than... Let me see. <laughs> 2 to 12 piercing damage to certain creatures that sport multiple sets of eyes. A set of eyes is 2. You have multiple sets of eyes, that's 4. How good is this? Is it two-handed or is it one-handed? Because it seems pretty damn good. At least... In theory. It looks good. 4 to 11. Uncommon. Throw. We can throw this sucker. Absolute Knight. Blind targets that fail. We, it blinds targets. Holy hell, that thing is cool looking. We still gonna wear this shield? We don't... We can't use this. I mean, we can give this to somebody else. We can give it to Carlac. Because I'm gonna keep a shield on us. Become the boar. Damn, it's good to be alive. Damn, it is right it's good to be control. alive. I agree. Just. We can't just let it sit there in the inventory, right? I really want to wear it, honestly. So, does it have any benefit? You gain plus two bonus to armor class as long as you are not. It has no benefit if we're wearing a shield. We can't do anything else. But then again, can we dual wield something? Anything. Now we're not going to be able to dual wield anything besides a shield. Okay. We'll go back to this, and then we'll give these to... Carlac. Let's go, kid. Give her some kind of items. There you go, Carlac. It actually looks pretty amazing on you, to be fair. Poison there's robes. Is this the Spock stuff? Yeah, that's the Spock stuff. We're going to give the Spock stuff to... Yale. What to do? I think we're good. We're looking good now, friends. I mean, we got this medium armor here. Let's. Oh hell, that's hideous. I don't know about this, Ori. <laughs> it's barbarian looking. So we go to 17 armor class, but we lose the bonus to Constitution for being unarmed. I honestly think that this armor might be worth 
to use. We're losing a little bit of constitution, right? But we're gaining... Look how much armor class... Oh, we're only gaining one armor class, technically. So it's not that much an improvement. But what the improvement is... Undead creatures that hit the wearer. So if any undead creatures hit us, the wearer receives one to six radiant damage. Okay. Undead creatures that hit the wearer receive one to six radiant damage. Beasts that hit the wearer deal an additional one to six radiant damage. So beasts that hit us... Okay, I get it. So it's given... It's take and give, basically. It's, well, it's... You do some, but... Let's send us a camp. You're gonna get hit... Okay, you do more to undead, but a beast that hits you is gonna do more to you, technically. I got it. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Let's go back to this stuff. I think that armor is something that Gale might utilize, right? Look, friends, we got a fucking polearm, a spear. I don't see the corpse of the other owlbear. Damn, I'm kind of happy we came in here. Now we know what the hell happened to the owlbear. If we never came in here, then I guess we would have never known that the owlbear fucking died. Salunite, right? A plane? Unadorned note? Moondrop pendant? Writhing dance? When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. Uh, yes please. Idol of Saloon? <laughs> Is that your saloon, Our Lady of Silver? The Moon Maiden gazing quietly at the world. Bloodstone and a necklace. I can see why Shadowheart wouldn't have liked any of that. Should we just give it to her, just casually? If we just give her this idol? <laughs> Friends, I'm gonna put this necklace on. What's gonna happen now? Now that we lost... Speak to the dead. Will corpses still glow green, I wonder? If we're not wearing it, and then we can just put it on if we see a corpse that's glowing green? Or does you or do you have to have this speak to the dead available on you? Well, it's really hard to say. Alright, let's get out. Wow, that's crazy. Look at this spear that we got. It the game just knew that we wanted to go to Polearm Master. Well, let's head towards. I kind of want to head towards the grove because I want to go to... Well, we got to get out. I want to do the one mission first. I don't want to do Annie Ethel's. I feel like Annie Ethel's now might be timed because we got to find this lady before Annie Ethel. Do you even think Auntie Ethel has this lady? She's got to at this point. She was lying. So Auntie Ethel has some shit going on that we just don't know about. I looked... When I was looking at the inventory as well, look, I found... This. There was a spider egg sack in here. There's all types of other stuff. But this is a it says bonus action. The spider egg. So should we just put this down here? Can't use this right now. Oh, we can't even can't even do nothing with it. Now it's just stuck on our our stuff. It says bonus action. What are we gonna do? Throw an egg at somebody? Okay. I mean, that, that works. So what happens if we do summon scratch now? Does... I don't think we can have two familiars. I want to keep this one. I'm going to keep shovel. Can we do two familiars, though? That would be so crazy. If we can. I still want to think about using this book, and I honestly think I might want to use the book right now. Should we attempt to use the book? Oh, do I want to use it? I kind of want to read it, though. We can give it to a story, and let's just read this sucker. Let's see what happens. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. <laughs> You'll read it in the grove. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Please don't open the creepy book. <laughs> We're not going to do it right now. Put the book away. Let's put it away. I want to change the party. I don't want to... I don't want to open it up with them too. I'm going to put Gale back in and probably Will or Shadowheart when we open that book. We'll wait. 
We're going to open the book, I think, though. For sure. And then just kind of go from there. Look how he runs. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I don't think we can go... Oh, hell. This is how we're going to get the cargo. We have to go back over this way. Shit. We are literally going to have to go back. There was nothing else in the grove besides selling shit. Okay, let me head back to... Well, we're going to teleport. We'll head back to the Blighted Village and go down. Damn it. I was thinking that we'd go down by the beach. Like, the first area. But now that I think about it, there's no way in. Well, there's no other way to do anything from that beach. Right? And we're going to have to go this way. I mean, we can change the party. Let's go back to camp. I want to change the party. I want to open this tome. Now I'm just, I'm so interested. Look, friends! Oh, no! I was hoping the blood was going to be gone, but it's still there. Damn it. So the beach camp is cursed with this damn blood. Fucking hell. I was hoping that if we just kind of like, you know. Speak. Rested somewhere else, that it would go away. Are you sure that's the best confirmed? This camp. Let's get... Gale back in. He's probably going to be interested to see what we're going to do with this. What's on your mind? Swimming. With. Get in here, Gale. We can put Will back in. He kind of didn't give a shit. But let's take Carlac out. Look. Shovel's just chilling by Carlac. Soldier. Really? Oh. Get over there and stay for a while, all right? We can do Shadow Harp. Let's do Will. <laughs> Will's gonna be like, what the fuck? Well met. Should we just do it in camp? That's No, let's not do it in camp. Let's get out. I'm feeling a bit parched and peckish. Me too. Keep an eye out for any passing vagrants. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to content yourself with vagrant chickens. <laughs> Don't We're gonna read this fucking book. Seriously, though. We're gonna do this? I feel like... Well... Let's do it. Let's see what happens. The book is What's locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. What's the worst that can happen? You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Place the amethyst in the slot on the book's cover. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Open the book, drop the tomb, ready to destroy. We can give the book to a story in right here, right now. Let's just open this sucker up. If anyone's going to chance it, we should just have Ari try to brave through the book. Though, he's a fucking barbarian, friends. <laughs> he ain't going to know what this shit is. Let's open it. Oh shit, people did not like it. The book's Fine. pull is irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly, you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Saving throw. Turn to the next page. We got plus one safeguard shield. Elixir of heroism. That works. Elixir of heroism, though. Gain 10 temporary hit points and become blessed. Oh. Let's see. 
that's not gonna work out. I guess it does work out. <laughs> what in the hell? Barely. The symbols dart beneath your eyes, warping and twisting. Your head throbs, but you almost understand. Saving throw, turn another page. Oh, friends, it's just getting higher and higher every time, huh? Well, good luck, Ari. 19! That works. Let's keep it going, though, sir. Success. The world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. Urge your hand to turn another page, force the book closed. We've already committed, so we just keep going. I mean, we can keep going, or we can just force the book closed. But if we force the book closed, we're going to wind up staying, right? As in, it's going to, we're not going to gain any knowledge from the book. If we're going to gain knowledge, because technically this thing might turn us into a fucking monstrosity, though. Urge your hand to you turn another page. Force the book closed, though. See, parts of me wants to force the book closed. Parts of me wants to force the book closed, but then again, it will be hand in hand with we could have just destroyed the book already. Like, what's the point of even reading the book then? If we're just going to force the book closed and not read it. So let's urge your hand to turn another page. Why not? 20? You're not going to get this, sir, unless you get a critical success or something. 19. <laughs> there you go, Ari. You're a fucking rolling master right now with your elixir of heroism and your shield, oddly. The glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you you should never have known. Secrets of the Necromancer, Gale is inspired. Friends, we just... What did we get? Sage, all knowledge is worth having. Gale is inspired. Again. He didn't like it, but he sure the hell is inspired. We still got the tome here. Look away. The Necromancy of Thay. Twisted binding. Look away. What did we get from that? Unlock the ancient tome. We managed to read most of the book, absorbing some of its necromantic power, but it snapped shut before we could finish it. There must be a way to reach the end. Evil is inscribed on every page of this book, but all evil has a weakness. There must be a way to destroy it. Well, we've read most of the book, I guess. There, we gotta find another way to read this book. What if there's something we can do? Find a way to finish the necromancy of Thay. Well, there's nothing we can do about it right now. Speak with the dead necromancy spell? Wait, why was that a dot there? Like, we just got that. Friends, we don't even have the, the speak with the dead. And did we just get given this because we read that book? Speak with the dead. Grant a semblance of life to a humanoid corpse, allowing it to answer up the five. So we automatically have speak to the dead now? Because we, I mean, that makes sense. We just read a fucking necromancer book. But we have to find a way to keep reading this book. That was crazy that Ari even attempted to do that shit. <laughs> I mean, we did pretty damn good with the rolls. I was thinking that eventually I would probably fail, as we were going through it, that I would fail and then we would have to use some inspiration or something. Okay, but we 
already looted all these corpses. We did, but we didn't loot all of them. Goblin drawing? Wait, what's that? Drawn in a thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures, a goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. They don't update defeat the goblin. Hey. Defeat the goblins? If the tieflings are to make their way to Baldur's Gate, we will need to deal with the goblins. Zevlor thinks someone must be organizing them. We should investigate their camp. There were three figures in the drawing we found. The goblins must have more than one leader. Whoa! Defeat the goblins. What the hell? I could have swore we looted all these corpses. Well, I guess we didn't. Wow, friends. Shit's getting crazy. So the goblins have more than one leader. The one goblin talked about there being one leader. I don't remember the name of the leader of the goblin, but she did say that she did she said his name. She said bridge, cave, or bridge, waterfall, and then the leader, the goblin's name. Let's head towards this way. Since we kind of got a new party in, maybe we can get insight on whatever's here. Deception failed. No one can see whatever the hell this is. I'm going to keep switching the party out and figuring out what the hell that we got going on over here. At some point. But I guess before we head closer into... Look, Anthe Ethel... Get help from Anthe Ethel. We can still get help from Anthe Ethel. I'm not going to do Anthe Ethel's quest now. I want to do Investigate Kaga because we got it first. But I'm going to head into the swamp area. Sunlit wetlands. And see what the hell is going on. But let's read a book before we head out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read the books. And then I'm just going to send them to the camp chest knowing that we read them. What is this one called? A Pleasurable Deal. This play is well-worn and tattered. It has clearly been read many, many times. Let's see. This is an expert from a play, A Pleasurable Deal, banned in no fewer than four cities for its lewd content. Its scandalous nature led to a number of widely disputed and illicit printings. Narrator, come here, fair folk, a tale now lost to time. In grief, this man well sunk to depth sublime, a gift he sought to win his lady's heart. Our Cambion smiled, for now the game did start. Enter Robert Male Tiefling, crying, Carlisle, stage right, flash of smoke. Carlisle, weep not, young man, though free your wife has fled, and comfort found in comrade's arms and bed. She licks her lips and cries his name, oh my. <laughs> and now seek you to be the apple of her eye. <laughs> Robert, how does a stranger know such things, I ask? Carlos, I watch you from the shadows, and I see your shame and grief for nature's milady. You seek to win your lady and her bed, to have your name upon her lips instead. Robert, you know my curse, my pain, my grief, my woe? Carlos, of course I know, you seek a larger hoe. <laughs> to plow fair maid and sow a seed to grow. Alack do ye, a mighty horn and mast, with which a guide a maid to bed and fast. <laughs> Get back to camp, you lewd son of a book, Hugh. Let's see, we got A for Azuth gods. There's A for Azuth gods too. Is there anything that just pops out? A realm according to Bumpo. The Wonders of Panaladin. The Mortal View Eyewitness Accounts of the Ball Spawn Crisis. Leaderships of Zentarim. See, Lent this sounded interesting because technically... Didn't that one guy... This Zentarim, the person that we stole the chest from, well, we didn't steal the chest from. We, he basically gave the chest for us to turn in. Didn't he say he gave us a password to something called Zentarim? 
Oral histories of Faerun, Paladin, Oathbreakers. This ball spawn shit sounded interesting. This mass-produced book has a cheap imitation of balls, symbols stamped onto the cover. The guild seal on the inside of this cover belongs to a printmaking collective in Baldur's Gate. Of course I remember, knew the second that girl was walking that she'd be trouble. Little thief always in everyone's business, and that ward of Gorians went right along with her. No surprise, a wicked god's blood was running in their veins. Anonymous Candlekeep. Servok and his lot are always the first ones that come to mind. You know, this all started with a bit of iron in Nazgul. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out of their hands back then. I thought the problem was bad trade and never took the man for a son of ball. Omanian mercenary interviewed on his deathbed. You dare speak the name to me? My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse ball, I curse Arenicus, and I curse you. Hostile vampire. Arenicus? Hostile vampire? Athkatla slums? The five tore Tether to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more ball spawn showing up would fix the war that a pact of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, huh? Good riddance. Here's hoping that every last one of them has been wiped out off the face of Faerun. Sardar's merchant retired. I am not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up with the Sea Tower if you want to argue, but honestly, who cares if a ball spawn got it stuck to them? Their father's the killing type, after all. Flaming Fist Gauntlet, Baldur's Gate. Several hundred more interviews following most of them. Curse. the hell? So there's some kind of crisis of a ball spawn. I feel like we read something about a god. Are we not? Let me send this one back to camp, but there was something on gods. Maybe we didn't read it. A is for Azuth and other gods. Oh, Esmunder, Asmodus, and Am Amariel. Azuth, Bane, and Asida. There's Drow. Well, that was an interesting ass book if I ever read one. Because whatever the ball situation is, it sounds like it was crazy. There's there's accounts of all these people talking about these ball spawns that that witnessed or something on a lines of witness that was basically starting some kind of a crisis. And it seems like it was well in time, obviously. The curse of the vampire. Okay, well everything else is just we're gonna get to it when we get to it. But I feel that the ball there, the name ball, I feel like it's some kind of god. Devil, demon, one or the other. It's one of them. It has to be. Maybe we'll run into something like that. But anyways, my friends, I'm going to save here. And when we get back, we are going right oh, into the swamps next you. episode. What do you say? We're going right into the swamps next episode. And we're going to try to get down to Kaga. I want to go and sell stuff off. I might do that off camera. I'm going to go back to the grove and just sell stuff off. And there is something in the grove. I believe it's in that one merchant that we stole stuff from. I believe it's some gloves, some blue gloves that I've seen. But I want to check them out and maybe think about buying them. Maybe we'll just start the episode there. In there after I sell stuff. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.